All clear. No, it's not quite perfect, but it's ours. Think of all the adventures we're going to have. This is a much bigger movie in terms of its uh, visual scope than the first film. The first film was sort of basically set in a couple of gardens and sort of a, uh, a, a street and a park. Um, and, and this film is, you know, takes place all across London. So it's got a, it's a much bigger backdrop to tell the story against. Um, and the first, you know, the first film was sort of a, a musical romantic comedy. And this film is much more a sort of a comedy adventure. And Sherlock Gnomes, sworn protector of garden gnomes. You mean, except for the one you literally just broke. Broken? Who's broken? Oh my god! In a live action film, you shoot a lot of coverage. And we can't afford to do that in an animated film. It's too expensive. So we do all our coverage, basically, in, and try and get our mistakes out of the way in story uh, where we're just you know, throwing away black and white sketches. But those simple black and white sketches that we create in story department can tell you whether an idea is working um, or, or whether you should abandon it. Uh, and if it works slightly, even slightly, in a simple black and white sketch, if you can get a laugh or even an emotional reaction um, from looking at a series of black and white drawings, you know, sort of projected like a filmed comic strip, that that is a very useful and fairly inexpensive tool to tell you whether your film is sort of on the right track or not before you go into the very complicated and expensive process of actually you know, moving it into three-dimensional computer graphics. We can't let anyone hear this, but they're going to smash us all tomorrow night. Smashed? This guy said we're all going to be smashed tomorrow. Ah! All movie making is a collaboration. And making an animated movie is probably the highest degree of collaboration you know, possible because every single thing that you see has to be designed. Nothing is free. <clears throat> so you have to work with you know, many, many very talented people to, to get anything up on the screen. And that's the fun. You know? uh, and a lot, of it's, you know, a lot of it is very hard work that goes on for a long time. You spend years and years of your life making one of these things. We have to go undercover. Let's go. Two forward. Uh, hold. Ooh, I said hold. Forgive me, I've never been the back end of a squirrel before. Shh, we've been spotted. <laughs> the role of the director is uh, is to sort of supply a, a, an overall vision for the film and try and inspire everybody on the film, uh, who's working on the film, um, with that vision and to get everybody pointed in the same direct direction. Um, and then, uh, you know, basically to leave them the hell alone when they know what they're doing and to sort of step in and gently course correct if um, you think, uh, think the film is not following, you know, the path that it should. Um, and to try and make as many good decisions as often as possible. Look, there's a pool! Woohoo! I'm okay! Excuse me. Oh, Mankini, that is just... Are you done? I've made a jacuzzi.